Uh, so I thought you did a pretty good job. We slowed you down at the border or the divider from one level to the other. There's between a Bobby and Robert, whatever. There's a, a border, our word, okay. Uh, not really a heavy barrier once you get the sense of it, uh, but to recognize it, let you know when you're moving into finer, for example. Um, kind of like a border in a country, you have a border and you know you're moving into the next country. In this case, our next country is a finer level, finer dimensional sense. Okay. So, uh, Bob, did you want to jump in and remind everybody, uh, because we slowed them down, had them be very easy at the border, not race, not uh, uh, whatever. Could you remind us what we covered there? What what you remember there? Yes, that's it. So basically, we were trying to appreciate the experience of moving through the border rather than rushing through to get to the next dimension. And you want me to walk through that process a little bit, Sensei? Yeah, why not? OK. It just bring them, help them remember the feeling, the things we did. Yes, please. Okay. So we start out just kind of feeling ourselves before we even encounter the border, and then we begin to let go. And as you let go, move to that border. And if you've done a, a pretty good job of letting go, the border, rather than feeling like a significant barrier, feels more like a membrane that's permeable. At that point, you might be tempted to kind of rush through that permeability, but we're not going to do it that way. You want to just feel, feel the very early stages of that permeable border. And as you do it percentage wise, you're letting go more and more of the uh, dimension that you're in and feeling experiencing more and more the border. There may even be some sense of what the next dimension is, but we want to pass on that and continue to feel the border. And as the border gets more and more permeable, it becomes easier and easier to experience yourself moving into the border not yet through the border, just into the border. And as you do, the energies of the border themselves have some value and significance in terms of helping you to feel yourself more at the border, in the border, moving through the border. And it becomes even more and more permeable and open. And as you allow that experience to get deeper and deeper, it prepares you for a movement out of the border and into the next dimension with greater depth, more experience, less awareness. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I think tonight, Okay, so I just wanted to go over that, if you remember, the easy, no rush, uh, don't reach, uh, don't mental it to death, because uh, at first, it's first aware of, okay, aware of a border, and then easy, and you settle, and then, because you were, took your time, and you're easy, as Bob said, uh, for example, some of you noticed it was kind of permeable, okay. And as you easy it and said, it's easier to pass through that permeability. Easy. Uh, so that same flavor, I want to retain that flavor, but just move from wherever we're starting from. Border, yeah, we've sort of covered that. And we're moving into this next dimension that's there. Okay, what's the next dimension? Well, if you're a two by two or let's say the next one is a three by three or a four by four, 
Okay, if it's a, a fair day level you're starting with, and you're moving into a good day level, potentially a great day level. Uh, okay, so other ways of talking about dimensions. Okay. Oh, okay, where are we? Where are we? Um, I might want to do standing if you want. Yeah, okay. Okay. Good enough, yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Checking. Okay. Okay. Just easy. <clears throat> easy. So basic. <sighs> Actually feeling present. <sighs> Notice certain things of settling. My breathing is already beginning to change. Ah, it's a good sign. I'm beginning to feel ah, good sign. And again, reminder on feeling that may not feel great at first. I, I hurt a little bit. Okay. Uh, but I'm feeling. So that's the plus. You see, it's okay. It's a sense of a little bit lower. I could feel a little bit my tummy, but a little bit lower. And just this vague sense of lower, lower, okay. Ah. We're just getting present, settling a bit. Ah. Let's see how to say this. Uh, we're soon moving into another realm, okay, soon. Take your time, easy. I don't know what to say. Pick up the pace here. I don't know how to say that right. Uh, maybe a fast, if I can say it fast. I'm at Esalen in the morning, heading to get my coffee, and I've got a bit of a walk there. And as I'm walking, I'm practicing as usual. And I said, well, how much space do I have here? And it felt like this much space. And then I don't know what I did. Maybe easy for a moment, quick moment. Yeah, how much space is really here? And suddenly I thought, oh my God, this much space. I could feel it. This much space was really here. So I think I'd say for some people, there's a tendency of a kind of a lesser forms of, oh no, not me. Let's, let's not do that to ourselves now. Easy, easy. We're moving into a good size, a good level space. Okay, easy, easy. Okay. Ah. Now let's just highlight the first part, the spaciousness of it. Uh, we'll have a circular flavor spaciousness of it, okay? Ah, I'm not interested in the energy movements in there. I'm gonna pass on all of that. I just want, I don't know, this word space. Ah, can I use a dumb example? If the space is like a stadium, there's no game going on and no player, okay? It's just an empty stadium. Easy, easy. Ah. Your sense of this space. Not thinking, don't be too high. I can't feel it too much. So easy sense feeling. Easy, finer sense. Present in this space. Easy. I'm picking up a little circular motion within the space, and that's nice. So noted, and I'm passing on it. Just easy, just the space. So noted, now the space, easy. The dimensional space, easy. Ah. Easy. A sense of 
quietness or calmness. So noted, I'm passing on, oh, let me think about that. Or, oh, that must mean I'm calm. So noted and pass on it. Easy, let more of it not show, because I don't want to get into the energies. Let, let's experience. Let's experience the space. I get a sense of it feels a little bigger now. Okay, let's experience the bigger. The space is experiencing its bigger size, a better way of saying it. The space. I'm getting a fast image feeling of a center in a circle. So noted, passing on it easy. Sense feeling. I don't want to do anything with, with it yet. I just want to work the space. Okay. Ah, not yet. The character, just the space, the space. Hang out there. We'll finish this go around in a moment. Easy. How is the potential to start spinning into ideas, observations, make up stories? Let's not go there. Let's not go there. Easy, easy, slowly. No rush for anything, slowly. In this space or this space. Space. Feels more oval. In fact, that's why my body did that form of it. Feels more oval. Is that the right word? Oval. Oval. Uh, easy, so noted. It's experiencing itself in that form. Easy. Ah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, again, I just wanted to slow things down, not reach, not rush, not think it to death. Easy. So my words weren't fantastic, but best I can do to, at this moment to get this, this sense across. Oh, I don't know even what to ask here. Oh. A teacher, you're on? Yes, Sensei, I am here. Okay, playing this game of at first just this space. A a any anything? <laughs> Don't know where we're going here with this, but just some feedback. Anything on just the the space itself? Yeah, I think that um, it's always important for me to have uh, to have a feeling and just allow that feeling to open more than just in front, but have that kind of a 360 in here a bit. Yeah. And if we allow it, quite likely it will show its 360. Or in my case, it showed very clearly it was oval. So that 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 sense of letting it show itself. Okay. Yeah, that's important. Uh, that's kind of a letting go uh, in a certain way. So it's you know what I what I call top downing. I think you talk you talk about too much uh, mind or you bring it out. And, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. let go of the top downing. <laughs> let go of what you heard before. Let go of your desires. Let it show itself. Yeah. Okay. Let it show that it's 
oval. Let it show that it's 360. Let it show that, oh, it seems to be a center circle now. Oh, what should I do with that? No, 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 stop. That's nice. And, and now what? Or next. Fine, thank you. Next. Slowly, slowly let it, let it. Uh, okay, uh, Bob, any, any, Thing along these lines? It's remarkable how much the space has to offer if we really give it a chance, as opposed to rushing to the character. Yeah, that's why I like to slow things down. Because, oh, yes, yeah, round now, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that, and whatever. Uh, really take your time, take your time. Easy. Let it, again, let it show itself. I don't know other word to use there. Uh, Unveil itself. <laughs> it's a something. Let it unveil itself. Easy. Yeah. Anything to add, Bob? Well, it also sets an experiential base for whatever you're going to do next because you focused on experience rather than awareness with the space. Okay. Without that, whatever's going to show next, without any people, without any answers. Now, what's going to show next? You're not in the present allowing. You're reaching for something. So I would pass on that phrasing for a moment, Bob. <laughs> yeah. You follow where I'm going with that? Yeah. Oh, I'm doing this because it's going to bring me to a really good place and I'm going to be a really special person. Oh, you've screwed it up. Easy. Take your time here. Ah, let it <laughs> unveil itself. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ah, somebody? Ah, did you get anything? Did you enjoy that? Was that interesting? You know, for me, there was the experience of real kind of unattachment. So it was like anything that was attached was just let go. It was dismissed. Yeah, if you're bringing in Bobby's knowledge or what he uh, heard from his teacher or whatever, uh, you're hanging on. It's interfering. Mm -hmm. Even if that's all true, you're here now. Let it unveil itself. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, well, don't carry your expectations. Don't carry your pre-knowledge. Uh, because as we do this, the truth of it in your, your dimensional world will unfold for you, okay? Because there's certain patterns that we all follow in that we're all, let's try this, we're all a potted plant, okay? So the pot and the soil and center and the circle, uh, yeah, that basic is for everybody. But are you an orange tree? Are you a rose bush? I was looking out in my yard today because I was sitting on my front porch and realizing, my God, we got a lot of potted plants out there. We've got a blackberry bush, got a lemon tree, uh, got some succulents, I guess you call them, a variety. Uh, so a variety of pots, you know, a lot of pots and a variety of plants. So our, our basic is like the, the potted pot and how it works. You individually are your own plant, okay? So for example, oh, oh, since they warned me a couple of times, maybe more, uh, Nado, I'm so happy you're eager about me, but careful because you can't be me, be you. Okay. Right. Right. Ah, so as you open, let it open up for you. Okay. Follow the basics. Uh, more room, a better bigger pot, can we say a finer level of pot? Okay. Anybody want to jump in on, on anything on, on that opening or moving into uh, 
going from here to there. Just letting the space of it, for lack of words, unfold. It was like a weightlessness, both of, uh, of um, our, you know, that creation and our minds and bits and pieces and just that weightlessness, almost like outer space space. It was very freeing. Yeah. And uh, historically, I think what's also happened here when people, uh, I've done when I do it with groups, uh, somebody will say lightness and somebody else will say, oh, a settled heaviness. Uh, don't freak out there, okay? Uh, you might pick up a sense of something that's a little bit different than somebody else. The other side of that is you'll say, oh yeah, mine is kind of similar. I wouldn't call it weightlessness, but I'd call it lightness of being or something. Uh, so uh, anyway, don't too fast try to compare. Uh, one thing that's happening also is we're at different levels. So I don't know if you're all at a, a two by two space or a three by three space or a four by four space. So if somebody talks, they may be talking from their experience in their two by two. Somebody else talking from their experience in a three by three. Don't panic. Allow that, okay? Right? Sometimes uh, some people jump in, uh, like I told Susan a week or two ago, Susan, you're getting too far ahead. Because I wanted to just talk about some, I forget, dimensionality level. And she was sort of past that into uh, a very fine level, and I wasn't ready to present that yet. So I said, not now, Susan. Uh, doesn't mean she's wrong. It's just, uh, let's not confuse people who are still at a two by, three by, what, whatever. Let's, let's try to, to some degree, hang together. <laughs> to some degree, hang together. Can't do it perfectly, but somewhat. But, uh, oh, okay. So first, the space. I think I need one more. Somebody? Since I, I felt a, uh, in that exercise, a real permeation of the space, an inner, outer permeation. There was as much space, inner space, as there was outer. The circularity was permeable inside and out. There were no boundaries. Um, If you're talking about uh, like a, a, a sphere and you're talking about the inner and the outer outside of the sphere also. I, this, this concept of inner space and outer space, it's, it's all the same. It's all permeable. I'm having this exercise on my walks these days where contemplation of can get way out there in the universe, but there's just as much going on inside. There's as much depth. So yeah. this is a side shot here. Nice. It might be, might be, might be. In his case, his system may be saying well, my my Eslin story of oh, I think the space is this big. Now, how big is it? And it's only much bigger. I'm wondering if his system isn't doing a very similar thing, saying, well, this is the space you sort of set up, but it's past that. Right. So I'm thinking it was that your system saying, oh, you're bigger than that kind of thing. I would, I would head that way with that one. Thank you. And you're a better man than you know Charlie Brown or some damn thing, okay? Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Interesting, the nice, I don't know, after effect. Uh, uh, I feel calmer. I feel easier. My body feels a little more relaxed, settled. Uh, interesting, just doing this dumb game. Uh, the, the after effect, so to speak. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Kind of a simple thing, but a lot of... A lot came from it. Words are lousy tonight, excuse me. <laughs> okay. Hmm. 
now. So I wanted to play with just the space, okay? And I threw out a possible dumb example. It's just an empty stadium. But we don't know what goes on in this stadium. That hasn't been uh, for us decided yet. It's just empty, okay? Then we move on to the next phase. Wow. Is it a basketball thing? And the character is going to be a basketball player? Is it a football setup? And the character is going to be a football player? Is it a tennis court setup? And the character is going to be a tennis player? Are you following my nonsense? <laughs> okay. So the next phase next phase is okay in this spaciousness now i what's the word uh, uh, allow or maybe bring them out more energies that are here please show yourself more and more clearly okay now any kind of activity I'm going to accept, whereas doing just a space, I would, yeah, and I'm passing on it. Whatever, yeah, and I'm passing on it. I just wanted to get the space. Best I can do with words right now, people, bear with me, okay? Ah. Now, in this space, phase two now, easy, easy. There are energies. <clears throat> And basically, possibly for some people, an up and down. And possibly for some people, in and out beat. Okay? But there are some energies moving around at this phase of it. Okay? We're in this dimensional. It's a bigger circle. So we know it's a finer set of vibes. When I was tighter than this, it was the gross energies creating a gross body. But we're past that and we went further past that. By law, this is a finer. Therefore, the energy vibe at this level are finer. Therefore, as they begin to mix center to circle, circle to center. Okay. And maybe we should be slow there. Maybe a moment, maybe. What's your sense? I laid out the basics here. Energies and energies. And they're going to relate with each other, mix, okay? Your sense of energy movement here, your sense, easy, the early stage of it. Somebody wanna jump in on this? Sensei, this is Tisha here. Yes, sir. Um, it is a, it is slowing down, but it's interesting. It's not stopping either. It's not stagnant. It there's there's still a sense of motion, but it's not um, it's not fixing on anything. And I think that's an important aspect. It's really? not, not clinging to anything. I, I just never thought of walking in on anything here. <laughs> exactly. Really, people do that. <laughs> Things are moving here. Anybody? Oh, thank you. Any anybody on on your sense of of the movement? Second phase. Energy's moving. Didn't say harmony. Huh? Harmony. Harmony, the things are starting to turn. Harmony, okay. Um, Got to see what country they're from and correct them. Harmony. <laughs> um, thank you. 
but harmony sort of infers two. I haven't heard what your two are. Uh, or just um, any one in harmony, harmony with itself. Yeah. Seen to well, circle. Seen to circle. So I've got a, um, it yeah. felt like a smooth pistons sort of in and out. Well greased, yeah. very smooth. Okay, so good level of see harmony. And for example, some weeks back, we played a little bit with right about there when I said for me, center can ya, you, yeah, yo. And circle comes in, mommy, moo, memo. So two different sounds, not the right word, uh, the ya and the ma. Uh, but but there's a, a harmony with them. But I think we did an easier one. Did we did an ah to the o oh, and o oh, to the ah uh, till it felt harmonious or equal or something? Yeah. Uh, so that's a very important um, thing to establish experience here in the early early stages. Twos in harmony. Okay. And it, however you want to set up your tubes in harmony, okay? Again, I, I was a major center type. Uh, I like fire water. So I had fire up and water down. And at a certain har harmony level, start to be a steam, a sense of steam was there. Well, that told me those two were in balance because too much fire, water is dissipated, too much water, the fire gets wiped out. Uh, when they started to be more in harmony, steam. And so steam was my uh, clue, my experience that, okay, here's a harmonious intersection. Here's a harmonious level. Uh, and then there's a couple of things I do there, but good enough for now. Uh, so harmony, yeah. Okay. Anybody else on, on your sense of, my God, time goes by. Gee, one, one last one, somebody on, on just your sense of the energies moving center or circle or circle, center, center, circle. Any, any sense of, of, of them? This is Justin. I've got a, a an expansion and a contraction from a core center, um, a fullness expansion, a fullness contraction um, from the core into the circle around and back to the core. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And as that balance gets better, when you have balance, then we can move into, or you will be able to, or it will happen, move into a finer dimensional level core. Okay, so far? And repeat at that level that. So the, the core center circle, that's pretty ongoing. You can go, go quite, a, quite a ways with that, okay? It's not just uh, something I do with Bobby and that's it. You just, it goes, it goes, it goes, yeah. Uh, now, energies, now if we're gonna highlight character, the plant, center plant character, okay? So a certain amount of harmony here, okay? whether they're movement sense, harmonic sense, whatever, finer vibes, finer vibes. And as they mix, in other words, there would be breed or the beginnings of create, they create. Oh. Okay. So even at an earlier level, you get to rebreed yourself. If I started off as Bobby at this level, it'll mix up a Robert or a Nado. Big jump, Sensei Plus, 
all right? Later, you'll be able to do faster movement, but slowly now, very slow, very slow, easy. Let it unfold, okay? So we're in this space and easy. Started to note energies or some kind of movement in this space, some kind of activity, easy. Now we're sort of pointing you out to, or pointing out to one thing that happens there is the mix of a character. Can you play there for a moment? Easy. Character experiencing himself. Now, careful, go mental. What, what character should I be? Who would I like to be? Now, don't spin off there. Here, let it unfold again. Okay. Easy. Mixing up a character. My lineage here, yeah, of course, it's me sitting with me. Uh, easy. Trick, don't think about yourself first. Feel yourself. This new mix you, easy. Slowly. You feel yourself. Breathe yourself. My physicalness is getting clearer, more experiential. Okay, so I'm physical, okay. My feeling for me is kind of squared away. I'm, like I'm good in the body, okay. Yours, yours, the character, experience in yourself, character. Most of us are probably at a body level. You could have an energy body level. Good, you'd be moving more advanced than the rest of us right now, but yeah. Character. Character feeling himself has a sense of what it can do. My character is more uh, nice physically. So anything physical, uh, walking, oh, I hate that word. I drive to the coffee shop. Walking would to this character be okay. He'd walk nice. He'd enjoy the stride of walking. Tell me about you, character. I have a sense of solid present available. I'm sorry, solid? Solid and, and present and available. Prepared to handle certain things, is that what available means? Uh, yeah, ready to go, um, available, open, mm -hmm. solid in my body, but mm -hmm. available and ready for being present and available for. If they throw a baseball, I'll catch it. If they throw a basketball, I'll catch it. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for whatever, that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Somebody very simple. You've got a newer body here, because at this level, we let it mix up a character. I'm just asking body character. Tell me about you. What's your experience? What's your capabilities? I'm finding uh, my body is my breath, my breathing. And it's coming from my feet up. Okay. This body breathes fuller. And in breathing fuller body, what would be easy for you to do? What would be natural for you to do other than just keep breathing? Um, play music, write a song um, in this moment. Write a new song. David, could you move closer to your mic? You're blurring. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
write a new song, play music. Okay, so he's in the music realm. Okay, so a musician, let's say, mixed up a musician. Yeah. And if you follow the pattern, you can go into uh, following this into finer dimensions again, makes up a, a, a better musician, okay? One who hears tonality better, one who plunks better, what, whatever. So that's available. If I do this, uh, one level my EQ, another level's EQ, another level's whoosh, EQ. <laughs> yeah. I'm just following this in a simple manner. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. See a lot of people go out and try to improve, improve, improve. I go, well, why are you doing that? Improve here. If you improve here, this improves. The better this gets, this gets better. Uh, but another discussion for another time, but they, I guess they get pushed into the vortex of the manifest tighter and tighter, and I got to do more, and you got to do a million of those out there, and my wrists are getting thicker, I must be improving. I call that training for ugly in the bodybuilding days. They weren't doing inner to outer, they're doing outer. They get uglier, Hi. Look at those thick traps. Whoa, me. Oh, God. Horrible. Anyway, different discussion. Uh -huh. Anybody on character? Improved character? Even a simple step there. An improved physical character. Last comment, anyone? Character? Sure. Thank you. Um, there's, there's, a, there's, there's a new strength in my body strength um yeah i suddenly feel stronger and I, I can actually go and do i got to go do some physical work so i got to cut up a whole lot of wood so lift those sheep yeah <laughs> lift those sheep yeah but yeah i gotta do some wood cutting so yeah suddenly I'll I'll, I'll stronger. With, with susan and, and you guys can work that out <laughs> susan might Woodcutter chant there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So the guy that doesn't want to, oh, God, I got to cut wood. Uh, that's this guy, no problem. But, it, but he can move into this. Suddenly you get a guy where not only cutting wood is acceptable, but it's like, whoa, wow, I can turn this into an exercise or uh, a, a, uh, to aid my process of development or something okay. okay so it's not trying to get this guy who hates cutting wood to cut wood he's the guy who's going to cut his own leg off okay bad things can happen here we should move into that one we have a chance once we catch hey that's better then if you're smart you go whoa if that was better what if i go to the next okay so to have a sense of the process, you can move along whenever you want with whatever you want, wood cutting, music, whatever. Okay, the field is wide open. Okay, so if we get that across to folks as a basic, uh, we've done a lot, we've done a lot. Getting the Bobbies of the world to become Roberts Whoa, whoa, that's pretty cool because Roberts are weird. Uh, Bobbies are really weird. Roberts are okay. Nados are much better. Uh, very simple. Okay, very simple, but very daily useful. Okay. Um, let's see. Is Dusty on tonight? No, yes. Uh, he's here. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. So I was very happy because you did sort of this being a teacher, 
we got to another level and you felt a bit different and the situation you saw and experienced different center circle circle center uh and i said ah potentially you're on a roll so you got that first piece with obvious results of you and the situation and the, oh my god what if every day could be like this or wow what would be the next next level of that so potentially you're on a roll don't screw it up you're potentially on a roll and uh, while i have you on um we were doing self okay when i said self and you start talking about all the ener energies i had to no we're not there but then you're the new kid on the block yeah okay. uh you should continue for a while with the with with the, this pattern your your teaching pattern for example you better you better student relationship and seeing them better uh, all of that uh and as we get a better balance of character then eventually we'll bring self self will have a chance to show through uh but if our character is not developed it's a little harder for self to show through you get a tight bobby you screw self just what I want kind of thing, you know? Yes, there's a self there, but there's a little tiny bit. The character is running everything. Better character, better character, better character. Someplace along the line, self can begin to try to show through. Or you have a sense there's something else. This is cool, I'm really good, but, but I think I'm missing something. What am I missing? And it could be self's time. Uh, so for you, don't worry about the self right now. You're on a roll potentially with this pattern. Stay with that and develop that. And Noah will remind you. Uh, but I thought if I had you on camera, I'd mention that. No, and, thank you. Uh, just appreciating taking the time. That's what I need to remember. Yeah, I, I get yeah, I go like that. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, so when we uh, move into the next first there's awareness of it okay kind of aware oh yeah it looks circular okay you're not finished there easy continue to settle open okay some it's experiencing some sense of experience. Okay. Now you've got to double check that one, go another one because there's, I'm aware of experience. Okay. And it could be a little bit more experience. I'll, I'll give you that. But let's say you're getting 10%, 20 max. It's not the fullness of experience. The awareness of experience is not the experience. Okay, and a lot of the heavy awareness people get confused there. Yeah. They're aware, yeah. and you say experience, and oh, now they're aware there should be an experience, and they hear about what the experience is, and they're sort of aware of that. But after a bit, it's not the experience. And so when I climb on them, they don't know what I'm climbing on them for. It's like, it's not the awareness of the experience. You got to click it a couple of more times. So let's see experience awareness had its turn now it's this turn and i may be shifting into a different subject but very important one so uh moving into the next tricks of the trade take your time uh it there's more energy in the second one than the first one okay because it vibes finer uh it may bump you a little bit, easy, easy, it's okay, easy. Let it unfold, let it show itself. No one's angry at you here, easy, it's okay. It's okay, all right? So easy, take your time. Uh, again, that difference of aware of, 
Yes, 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 that's cool. And then the experience, and double check that one again and again. Deeper, fuller, for lack of words, experience. It's experiencing itself. I guess I can do in words tonight on that. Uh, okay, where are we? Then in that, okay, so so we enjoyed the space as space. Uh, we enjoyed the character who was in that space, football player in a football stadium, whatever, whatever. Okay. Uh, if your space was a classroom, it would be a teacher. Just in case. Uh, now, for some of you, early in the game, but just to sort of lay out the schematic of things. So there you are, character, and that's a space-based character. Okay. And in that space, self is a little more present than it was in our earlier starting. Okay, it's more room. <clears throat> the character is more balanced. Okay, and self is there. Easy, easy. This we should call it third component. Self. Okay. First, it's an idea. Fine. First, it's an awareness. Oh, yeah, I believe in selves. Could be also a memory. Yeah, I remember self touched me one day, and yeah, I still remember it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Easy. The actual of self. Okay, easy. What we might call the self's experience of itself. Okay. Should we do anything with that or is that too much for tonight? Yeah. Let's yeah, play. It's a little bit of a big jump, but let's play. So again, space, we were present there, had some experience of space, okay. Then we allowed, called up, please, I need to be better. Bing mixes up a better character. Okay. In that space. Okay. Done properly, the energy harmony of that space will mix up that level of character. Okay. Again, don't sell yourself short. I was mixing up a character, but I'm sort of nobody, so I won't expect much. And you just screwed up the game. Uh, you inserted your eh on it. Okay. I didn't go overboard the other way. I'm a great God. I can walk on water. Don't do it. You're going to drown. But whatever, you'll find out. Uh, so you got two sides there. One, eh, the other's, ah, I'm great. Okay. Where the hell am I going? Next. A balance of self character in that same space. And see, for some, self will begin to show how to call that out, how to allow that. Easy, easy. It's there. Will it present itself? Will it show? So. And self is not just, you can't stay with the idea. It's not an idea up there. It's here. You want to keep it in aligned with the body, aligned with this circular space we're in. There was a body aligned to that space. And the self aligns to that space. So it's an overlay pattern. Okay, that's what I was, I was trying to say with don't go anywhere. It's all here. It's an overlaid pattern, finer and finer and finer here. 
Okay. We would say, I don't know, heavenly is here. It's a dimension of here. Oh no, heaven is up there and this is pretty heavy shit down here. That's not quite right. Okay. A lot of misunderstandings on, on that. Finer inner dimension here. Stage one, just the next finer space. Stage two, the character, because of the energies that are balancing in there, that breed makes a character you. <sighs> yeah. Now we're playing with self. Easy. Self, self, self. Okay. At this stage, it may be not game busters, but any, any early vague sense of something called self, okay? Uh, did I jump the gun? Somebody want to help me? Bob, help me here. <laughs> There's the beginning of an inner glow, which is distinctly different than the energies that produce the character. A good, I don't expect everyone, to, oh yeah, the inner glow and whatever, uh, he's a little more advanced here, right? So, uh, uh, but we have to start someplace. So, but eventually, yeah, self, the glow of self. Okay, and did you say something else there? You said glow and anything else? That feeling, and it's just the beginning, it's early, but it's distinctly different. Oh, that's it, yeah. Uh, that its warmth, glow, I don't want to call it aliveness because I call body energies alive. This one, I use a different word. Let's just stay with glow for a bit. The glow of self is different. Uh, so with a little practice, you'll, you'll feel the difference of the aliveness. Aliveness of the physical body, energy bodies, all that, all those characters, okay? And the self's oomph is different. Uh, that If you're not clear on that, as you hang out, it, it will get clearer and clearer. A trick there, don't stop at the first glow, because again, everything continues. And so at the next better level uh and we're, if we're following this pattern and said okay self the glow would be a little better glow in some form uh than the previous okay so i don't think because it's glowing i've arrived i've got it i'm the saint of the week we're not quite not uh, don't jump the gun enjoy the hell out of the glow Somebody, another word here, another example? Anyone picking up on self? Yeah, this is Amy. For me, it uh, from Amy from Florida. Florida Amy. Um, for me, it, it starts radiating love. It's like, it's like, it's like that it's like being on stage and you just embrace this radiation of love just starts coming through. And very uh, uh, is Nancy on tonight. Anyway, yeah, at a certain level, the finer of the qualities. Uh, begin to show. We've touched on qualities, I don't know, a year ago or so. And I said something like, we're playing a game of what quality comes easy for you and natural for you. And when that quality is there, you just feel good. It's just an easy one for you. It comes pretty easy. Trying to pick up your, at that level, your first sense of quality. And, and I think everyone had a sense of quality recognized it, enjoyed it. But as you continue and continue, qualities continue also. So in a 
a finer, finer. Uh, the qualities are still there. And so love, fine, okay. Again, for balance, I really recommend, enjoy the help of experiencing, love experiencing itself kind of thing. But soon as possible, get its partner and what else? Uh, to help the balance. I always get leery that on one quality, uh, I take the approach that there's four main ones, okay? On one quality, it's easier to spin, okay? You get two and it'll be a little easier to be more balanced. The second one will counterbalance the first one. Is that, am I saying that okay? So I think it's a damn good trick as soon as possible. And I'm not saying put down love or, or turn it off. I'm not saying that, but that and, and what else with that? The second quality is a good yeah, what, what I'm experiencing in the center is a power, a, a yeah, okay. finer power. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so there would be a partner combination, loving power, powerfully loving okay so yeah they're equal they support each other they're a good team and eventually there'll be three and four okay you get a full fuller package and the sense of qualities goes the distance too so as the character develops the qualities, I don't have to say qualities that make them up, uh, they begin to show finer and finer. So you get a, a, a very fine character, you have very fine qualities there. Okay. One day I'll bring up maybe archetypes and the, the continuation of archetypes that sort of fits in here. Uh, I don't know when, but eventually. <laughs> And since uh, you asked if Nancy is here and she oh, yes, is. Yes, I'm here, thanks. I forgot, I forgot what I was gonna get into with you. Oh, uh, you you had a nice quality. Remind me what it was again, that first one. Well, a few weeks ago, I was having a sense of benevolence. Yes, but that this, was. But this yeah. last week I was having a sense of a living presence that's just very different from my ordinary self. Uh, that word may have thrown me here. So benevolence as a quality. And then I thought you said a second quality. Oh, that, the one I had last week was a sense of rich silence. Oh, rich, yeah, yeah. Richness. Very deep and rich silence I was experiencing. Richness, okay. So benevolence, richness, richness, benevolence. Okay. Now, I'm not sure what you just said. Would you say it again about right now, today? Uh, this, the all week I've had this sense of a, a living presence, uh, just an alive right now here presence that's different from my ordinary yeah. mind, <laughs> my ordinary self. Uh, possibly at the level she's at. Because uh, I think she was, we were playing with self when she started to pick up these qualities. So she was at a good level when the self starts to be a little clearer. Boom, boom, we get two nice qualities. And I hear, I think, my guess is she's talking about that self being present. And it's different than her normal person. She's not a character. It's self's present. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, can't think of anything more to say, but yeah, good. Yeah. Don't say that. I can't either. <laughs> oh, did I say that? Oh, okay. Or did I blur that all up? Yes, I'd say that the, the, the feeling Nancy was describing was more self oriented than character oriented. Yeah, and again, see, I'm jumping from laying out simple, simple, and 
because suddenly this kind of stuff and I don't know I might, uh, maybe something to the general public here <laughs> you all uh, that the distinction between a self present and a character present uh, will we'll get quite quite clear to you okay that self is different although overlaid underlaid it's the paper that the drawing character is on but they're very distinct very distinct okay uh, and don't worry about that that will if you have any worry about it that will clarify it's okay it's okay uh Sensei, this is Amy from Oakland. It's Amy Knight. Amy Knight. <laughs> um, I've been working with this a lot. And part of, part of my first comment was the, um, that story of the goddess. I don't know. I can't remember her name. The goddess that was in the cave and she locked herself in the cave and then they were trying to get her out she cracked it open and they held a mirror oh the japanese stuff. the japanese story yeah like uh, there's there's when you're talking about the like the light and that heat and that beauty i that's that's that moment what i feel in that is just at the moment of that cracking of the of the uh, cave oh, yeah. door and she looks out and she's like sees herself for the first time and like that's the sense that i get inside when i'm feeling that heat warm light self feeling i don't know if that's a quality or yeah i i'm not up on the story wada loves the story uh i'm not kind of up on it uh but but yeah if you're having if you're processing along right and and suddenly a, a story unfolds there yeah yeah i would well, I, I don't know if it's the story that unfolds but it reminds me of that story like oh that's while you I, were sitting yeah. processing exactly you got yes that's what i'm saying that's what okay. i'm saying yeah okay uh see you say i got reminded okay. i say it unfolds okay yeah oh. Uh, yeah but, but it cropped up at that time mm. you see that's taisetsu baby mm. yeah mm. Uh, important and and the other thing that i've been experiencing recently is that character and the self but i hadn't really known that that's kind of what it was until tonight but kind of makes sense that there's the this character that lives in this it's like like for example, I'll just throw this out here, like a fire dragon. You've got the dragon, right? That's maybe the character, but the fire is where the dragon lives. So it's it within this light heat, that's the self. But within that, there's like the dragon is just kind of separate, but within that is the fire. And that's kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but that's what I've been experiencing recently. The life source? The life source. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Yeah. 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 And self eventually will show that it's that. It's the truer, more original life force. Mm. Hey, Bobby is alive. He's got energies. Mm. And advanced Bobby and super Bobby. Yes. Mm. Uh, but self will eventually show that it's more original and and because it radiates or present or glows uh it gives i don't know how to what words to use it energizes the aliveness it gives uh, uh, uh pluses it's not an energy uh, as the aliveness energies are uh but it it can that's why your sensei could like be very strong sometimes. It's like, no person can do that. And you do it. Well, when that's happening, uh, your normal energy is being supported by something most of it is unknown to people, the life force glow of self. Yeah. So anyway.
But anyway, you want to talk dragons, talk to water. You want to talk to lady in the cave, <laughs> talk to water. Uh, not you. me. Not me. <laughs> uh, uh, Bago Sensei's dragon king. Eh, that's his thing. I'll find my thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but again, if they crop up while you're in the midst of your sitting, let's call it, uh, yeah, yeah. I often get little flashes on when I'm experiencing something of something that's, that's similar or happened before. I say, oh, yeah, having this experience at Sunday. Oh, yeah, I had that experience 10, 20 years ago or what, what, whatever. The beginnings of it, I didn't fully understand it or whatever. Uh, but it'll, they'll fla flash in. Uh, uh, so uh, that they're flashing in is meaningful to me. Because I'm already at a level where I'm not mulling around worrying about the boss and whatever. I, I'm, I'm, I'm at this level. So when things show up, whatever word you want to use, show up, when you suddenly get a picture of it or an idea about it, well, why? Why? You weren't in your sitting before that thinking about shopping for your new whatever tomorrow, uh, but this suddenly was there. I kind of trust it, allow it, <laughs> live with it, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, where the hell are we? I don't know. Um, so basically, again, I just wanted to sort of present uh, that same flavor that I thought you did pretty good with people on, on the border. You took your time, you experienced things that you wouldn't normally experience with the border by taking your time. I thought that was cool. And so I wanted to have that same flavor and move into the next dimension, but have that same flavor. Take your time, be easy, let it unfold. Don't reach, don't react and spin off. Easy, easy. It's all there. It will show. Easy. Right? Some things at first you don't understand. Easy. It helps if you double check and experience. Looking at it, you could control you. Okay. Experiencing it, experiencing itself, for lack of words. Uh, you'll get a better flavor. If you still don't understand, easy. It'll unfold. It'll clarify. The whole creation was intelligent. And yeah, loving, yes. Powerful, hell, yes. Also intelligent. There's intelligence here. Okay? Just easy. Let it unfold. If you don't understand it today, and I have those days, easy. Maybe tomorrow it'll clarify, or next week it'll clarify. But it does clarify. It does continue to unfold. So take your time, easy, okay? Don't jump the gun on stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes something happens and you say, oh, uh, is that important? And somebody says, I don't know yet. Let's continue and next day you continue your little practice or next week uh, and, and next day or the next week uh, it shows again you say oh okay yeah I didn't make that up or that wasn't an accident here here it is again and probably clearer than it was at first experientially uh, so easy easy let it unfold The experience, feeling, very important. A lot of stuff you can't sort of catch on to looking at it. Can't go wrong. Feeling, the experience of it. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Very important piece. Blah, blah, blah. Anybody, anything intelligent to say? Because I'm all over the place at the moment. Sensei, um, I appreciate the that you've given us. And, and a lot of times as we are 
Um, oh, sorry. I'm told to start my video. Um, a lot of times we're getting closer to self, getting closer to realization or experiencing ourselves. A lot of fear comes in and uh, <laughs> we, we attach, you know, we get attached to the fear and, and hell breaks loose. But I, I think your guidance and reassurance that these, these energies are here to guide us and to help us to remain closer to ourselves, to realize ourselves is, is very valuable and I appreciate it. Uh, interesting you brought that up, fear, because I've been uh, majoring a little bit this week with one of the majors is, uh, why is there a fear of self? And uh, I had some great knowledge about it during the week, which I'm kind of blank now. Uh, <laughs> the, the first parts, the character part, uh, that can be potentially easy, potentially. Uh, we could say, okay, here's Bobby. Now he'd like to be a better Bobby. Easy. I want to be a better Bobby. And suddenly the next set of energy starts to activate. And he doesn't know what they are, so he panics maybe or freezes or uh, I better not think about being better anymore because that really makes me nervous. I, I get kind of afraid or something. But with a very little instruction, you no, know, it's just energies, easy, open, easy. Let the energies, let the energies. Ah, yeah, they're pushing a bit at first. Easy, open some more, easy. And, and it doesn't seem to take too much to get people to be easy with that. Uh, I don't know what to call those energies of the character, could we say energies of the world? Okay, a little practice. But self, uh, why am I blinking on that? I was majoring in it this week. Uh, self, I don't know, say the uh, um, immensity of self. Uh, pushes a lot of that stuff. If you're not comfortable with the underworld, really our energy allies, but if you're not sort of comfortable with that, self, 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 self seems to push those energies. And if you're uncomfortable in the first place where they're being pushed from deeper, you thought you had monsters before, the monsters are really coming at you. Uh, so let's let's take care in a simpler form. There aren't any monsters, people. Those are allies. And I know you might have had some bad experience and misunderstandings and God knows uh, what your parents told you and on and on and on and on. But you sit and settle and you will see it's so. That's why I tell you dumb stories over and over again. I'm sitting on a snake pit. What the hell is this? They're biting me. Horrible. I hate snakes, right? Easy. I continue and continue and continue. And you get to the level where they're smiling. Easy, easy. You get to a level where, oh, shit, those are just spiraling energies. They're not snakes. They're spiraling energies. Oh, that's cool. Because by that time, I knew energies were good and didn't take energies. And they came from a beautiful source. It was kind of a life-giving source. Wow. Not just the knowledge of that, but the experience of that. Wow. So you'd realize the energies aren't bitchy. They only seem bitchy because uh, you're floating up a little high and they're coming up from under. You're, you're talking blossom. And I want to say, no, let's talk dirt. Let's talk nutrients. You see, even when I laid out the potted plant theory, some people are talking about the sun and the blossom. I say, yeah, yeah, but you guys overdo that to begin with. You really got to get down and get dirty here. <laughs> okay. We really got to get this deeper experience because you're going to miss major of the creation. And it'll always spin you because you're not full enough there. Okay. The, the, the tree's got no roots. The first wind that comes by blows it over. No roots. The tree has roots. Oh, oh.
If you want to grow along, you got to go deeper, deeper into the dark soil underworld to realize more what it is and how beneficial it is. Okay, that's one reason I changed the word from energies to nutrients. Okay, I thought nutrients was more pleasant, closer to the truth word. Because God knows what some people do, energies, okay? But nutrients, oh, everything. All plants need nutrients, <laughs> okay? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, thank you, Tom, for reminding me on that. And amazing, I went, I went blank. Not time to lay that out, really. But uh, yeah, why the hell is there going to be fear of self? Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Sensei? Yo. Um, maybe because uh, we fear the power that comes with it? Possibly, because it goes strong after a bit. Yeah. But what does the power do? The power... So, yes, I understand the power. I understand, but what does the power do that we're afraid? So, understanding that it pushes from deep under the dirt, <laughs> which for some people is underworld bad stuff, uh, that helps a bit. So, yeah, power. I added another piece. Power does what? Okay. Shakes the stuff above it, moves the stuff above it. If you're okay with the stuff above it, you can go directly to the core power of it. No problem. One day you could get very fast at this. Uh, but not if you've got a major, I don't understand the underworld kind of thing. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, diverging. Uh, I'm finishing up pretty quick. Anybody, anything? Thank you, Tom. And Sensei, we're just moments before eight. So I think I uh, want to thank you once again. Yeah, I hope you got something out of, out of that. Uh, uh, distinction, I, I think, is, is, is important. Um, again, what I was trying to say to... Uh, a dusty, oh, we we're playing with self and you were coming back on me in all these energies. Oh, those are energies of the world character trying to be there. Oh, but I don't want you to be confused. So that is a different set than the self, okay? So I tried to lay that out with the space, highlighting experience feeling, then the character highlighting experience also. And then the self, same thing. Want all those to position properly. Uh, uh, position, uh, an overlay kind of factor. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you, Thank Sensei. Sensei. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Before you go, everyone, there will be no class on Friday, July 1st, US time. Okay. No class Friday, July 1st, U.S. time. And hang on one second. I was going to teach in San Francisco the 26th. And I don't know if Ross advertised that out yet, but I just heard uh, that it's a uh, uh, gay parade. What is that called, Amy? Pride. Gay Pride Day or something. The city's a mess. Uh, it's hard to get in and it's hard to get out. It's crazy. Uh, so there will not, I will not be at class 26. Uh, I'll come back to a Sunday in San Francisco as soon as possible, but not, not the 26th, no. Thank you. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Good night, everyone. Sensei, thank, thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei.